y'all welcome back to my channel this is officially the second episode of tina Cole cosmetics as you can see i have a super duper beat face lip combo on tina Cole cosmetics baby because y'all know if it ain't tina Cole cosmetics i'm not wearing it so today um i'm doing my first full-blown everyday makeup tutorial as you guys know i don't wear makeup every day but by every day i mean every time i do my makeup basketboard so what y'all want is what y'all get y'all know y'all spoiled and y'all know i'm gonna do what y'all say because y'all run my life so anyway today i'm going to be doing this full-blown makeup tutorial for you guys um you'll see in the video that i'm using my one and one out of two of my signature eyelashes from my Tinico Cosmetics collection. And then I'm using on my lids, I have the Lip Combo Second to None, which was sold out the first week. So it is a, our most popular lip combo. I use three of our most popular sold out glosses. So I'm so excited to share this with you. I'm excited to do my one and only, you know, full makeup routine like this is my go-to this is the only way i know how to do my makeup all. i don't know how to do nothing else i'm not a makeup artist so anyway furthermore we're gonna get into the video i'm gonna show y'all how i did it and i hope y'all can learn some things and i want to see y'all do your own version of my makeup using my lip combos and i want y'all to tag me but anyway, y'all, let's get on with the video. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now because there's a whole lot of this coming. Inside Tina Cole Cosmetics is about to get lit. So you just want to make sure you stay tuned. Make sure those post notifications is on and make sure you are subscribed. So let's get with the video. Okay, so y'all know I got to introduce the products that I'm going to be using in this video. So first and foremost, just to let y'all know. The goal is for the whole face to be completed with Tina Cole Cosmetics. But this is just the beginning. So majority of our products in this video will not be Tina Cole Cosmetics. But the main products that I'm using, which is the highlight of this video, I will be completing my full face using my second to none, um, my second to none lip combo. Oh, you can see the name. Okay, yes. Tina Cole Cosmetics Second to None Lip Combo. This lip combo is used with my number one best selling sold out. <laughs> Emphasis on sold out. <laughs> First day. <laughs> matte lipstick, liquid matte lipstick, and it's called Undressed. We use the um, my nude pink lip gloss. It's the high shine gloss called Off Limits, which is another popular gloss. And then I use my clear gloss called glacier girl it's also a high shine gloss lastly of the combo um is um my coco my famous coco nicole liner signature liner um that is also sold out the whole combo is sold out and it will be restocked within the next couple weeks so make sure everybody tunes in to tina cole cosmetics make sure you follow make sure you turn your post notifications on because those people that follow tina cole cosmetics will be the first to know when we launch and we will sell out again so anyway um my undressed matte liquid lipstick does not have my logo on there because this was the first sample that i ever got of this color fell in love and i've been using it ever since um, next um let me open her up the next Tina Cole Cosmetics product that we'll be using to complete this full face is one of my signature mink lashes. I stated on my website and on my page, I have two signature strips that will always be in stock no matter what. My whole collection I have right now will always be in stock. Even when I come with limited edition collections or Christmas collections or whatever, at the end of the day, the glosses, the matte lipsticks, the liners and the lashes that are on the website will always be on there. That's my signature collection and it will always be available unless it's sold out and it's time to restock, but it will always be available. So next, I have my signature lash. We call her Stunner. We spell her S. Well, we don't spell her with an S. We spell her with a dollar sign. T-U-N-N-H-E-R. Stun her. Okay, and I just love these. So... All of my signature lash strips are, what do I like to call them? 
they look like lash extensions so right now i have on lash extensions and i need a feel but wait till i pop her on y'all she is a problem listen y'all is sleep on my strips but y'all gonna see why i'm saying this i'll be using stunner in my lash strips and i'm gonna be using my combo which is second to none on the website like i said it's sold out but it'll be restocked in a couple weeks so make sure you turn those post notifications on and unfortunately i ran out i lost my coco nicole liner and we're also sold out of that so i'll be using a unfortunately i will be using something in replace for that but listen when we restock y'all know what's gonna be on my lips and what's gonna be on my lips only but anyway y'all let's get on with the video we're gonna be using today tinko cosmetics only baby so let's get it first, first, first um i'm going to put on my lip mask go this is not tinko cosmetics but until tinko cosmetics come out with a lip mask, we're using this one. How oh, I always like to moisturize my lips because I do not put any lip product on my lips um, until the end. So the first thing I do when I do my makeup is I always prime. My number one reason why I prime is because my face tends to get oily, like not my whole face, but um like little parts of my face like my nose and it really just be my nose y'all so i use fancy beauty um mattifying primer and i just take a little and i put it on my hand and i just put it all on my face everywhere where it's makeup gonna be but i like to focus a lot on my oily areas which is my nose because baby that nose gets oily i hate when it gets oily one time my nose got so oily. Somebody was like, sis, blot your nose. I'm like, ah! embarrassing. Okay, anyway. So, my whole face is primed. Okay, y'all. So, next, I always like to start with my eyebrows. So, when I do my eyebrows, um, y'all, I don't know these products names like this, but I'm going to try my hardest for y'all. And it really ain't going to matter in the end because at the end of the day, we're going to be using all Tina Cole products in further videos. But I guess we can start somewhere. First, I'm going to be using the Morphe M165 brush to do my eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows this way. Um, I use this brush for my eyebrows all the time. And then I use the, oh, I almost broke it. I use the Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo in dark brown. And I use the chocolate side because everything chocolate. Okay, y'all. So this gets serious. The eyebrows get serious. And if you watched my previous vlog for my birthday, Seema effed my eyebrows up. So it takes a little bit of time for me to get my eyebrows. So I might speed this up. And I like um, a natural type of bra. I don't like the super duper drawn on look because the way my eyebrows look, it starts to look, I look, starts to look like an angry bird. So, if they too dark, y'all, I don't be liking it. I'm actually, like, mm, starting to, like, do my own makeup the most. Like, I'm starting to like how I do my makeup the most, honestly. But, um, people be beating my face, like. Certain times, like when you got when you go on a date with your man and stuff like that, go ahead and do your face. Don't waste your money, you know. Spend it. I mean, don't waste your money getting your makeup done. If you know how to do your face, don't waste your money getting your makeup done. Just for him to mess it up later, like you know. But anyway, y'all back to this important. So I just lightly fill in my eyebrows. Um, I really got it good because my eyebrows really shaped already. But Seema messed that one up bad. So it's taking me a little time. So y'all, I'm actually gonna speed up on this because I need to be focused.
Okay, y'all. So, like I said, I like my eyebrows very natural. Like, I like them to be enhanced with the concealer more than anything. But don't trip, y'all. I know my eyebrows look a mess right now. But that's what concealer is for. What I do next is I go and I highlight around my brows. And that's what gives your brows the definition and gives you, gives it that makeup look. Of course, we're not going to leave it like this, silly. What I do is... I can find now that I lost my brush, my little brush. Oh, y'all. So, next, I use um, this brush. I can't tell you what kind of brush it is because I think it came, I think I, I actually stole it from my mama a minute ago, and it was from like one of those y'all know, them little collections, them little brushes you just buy from anywhere. And I took it and I've been using it ever since. So, I use my Juvia's Place. Um, concealer in number 10 and I take it and I highlight the bottom of my brow I do not use it on the top I'm gonna show y'all what I use at the top but I use it at the bottom and I just highlight my brows with it give me I like a real thin line real thin precise line y'all that's it that's all i'm gonna just and i'm sorry y'all i'm gonna get really really better with these videos to the point i'm gonna think i'm a makeup artist but just bear with me y'all this is my first little makeup tutorial and see my mess my eyebrows up blending brush i also don't know y'all i don't know where this brush came from so i cannot tell y'all but it's a blending brush and i'm a blending we just gonna blend it now when i blend my brows i don't like to blend it exactly like right there like right underneath like you want to blend it because you don't want it to look like light i hate when girls eyebrows still be looking like they didn't blend it in but you just want to blend it enough and where it still be it still gives you that crispy look you know but not too much y'all not too much what that be saying not too much on me not too much on t anyway so then i'm gonna come over here and we gonna blend it blend it blend it like i said y'all i don't blend it right underneath like Cause you still want a little bit of highlight like come on now don't be a boring girl you still want that little light effect effect or whatever actually i'm gonna blend it some more because it's kind of embarrassing y'all see that it's coming together next for the top i'm gonna highlight it and i'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty foundation that I use for my face, I'm going to use it for the top because it makes it easier to blend in when um, you put your foundation on your face. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation in the shade 410. And I like to put a little bit on my little arm, you know, I mean my little hand. What I do is I take a paper towel and wipe that concealer off from the bottom. And actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna use a different brush. I think this is the brush I use. Do I wanna use this brush on or not? Yeah, I'm gonna use this brush from the top. I'm gonna use a brush like this, kinda flat, kinda not. Wait, do I wanna use this, y'all? No, I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use the skinny brush that I had before. We're gonna keep it cute or put it on me. So, I dabbed it in there. And y'all, I'm using this cause it's the mirror. The mirror too far over there. Y'all get it. And now I'm gonna take it and highlight my bra at the top. Oh crap, y'all. Did I mess it up? I 
think it looked decent. Y'all, this is a skill. Like, you got to be real patient with your brothers. That's why I can't talk to y'all while I do it. Listen, baby, them eyebrows is sisters. They is not twins. Do not try to make them look alike because you're going to be sitting there crying all, all motherfucking night trying to do that. I think I'm all that because my eyebrows. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take that same blending brush and I'm going to blend the top. I'm going to blend the top, y'all. And one of my biggest pet peeves when I be seeing girls with their makeup done Nine times out of ten when they do it, I hate when it's like a gap right there. Like you could tell they put no effort in no product right there. Like, sister, don't do that. The middle of your forehead deserves love too. So we're gonna dab that right there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see them eyebrows. Y'all freaking see these eyebrows. Who is texting me at this time of night? Because I ain't nobody got no business texting me at this time of night. I'm working, baby. I mean, that ain't even a text. That's a notification. Okay, y'all. So, them eyebrows is done. And they... Them eyebrows is done and they highlighted. Next is foundation. So, I already got a little bit of foundation on my hand. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. Y'all, I don't like a lot of fake foundation. I don't like my foundation super cakey looking. So what I do is I use my Fenty Beauty 14. I put some on my hand and I use this random um, foundation that I got from Sally's. It's this brand. I just bought it um, on Valentine's Day. I had forgot my foundation at home. And I tried to rebuy some foundation from Sally's because it was across the street from our hotel. And I bought this thinking it was my shade and it was too dark. So sometimes I feel like this is too light. So I combine them together. <laughs> so I take a little bit of this and I drop a couple, you know, little things in there. And then I take one of my brushes and I twirl it together. And it makes my color perfectly. Like literally, y'all, perfectly. It's the perfect color. It don't look like what it is. So what I do is I take the brush and I just put it on little random parts of my face. I never put a lot on my forehead. I just put a couple because a little along goes on. A little goes a long way on my forehead. And once it's all over my face, we good. Take that. I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna um, wipe it off of my hand because I don't have time for it to be everywhere. And what I do is I take this brush. This came from a random brush pack. It's called AOA Studio. And I love this brush because it's perfect. So what I do is I take it and I blend all my foundation in. Ready, set, blend. about me when I do my makeup I do not put um I do not put liquid foundation on my eyelids I just don't don't ask why I just don't okay so I fully blended it out with this brush so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my beauty blender I'm gonna wet it and then I'm gonna finish blending it so I'll be right back okay so my beauty blender is damp and what I'm going to do let me get my little mirror I'm gonna take it and blend my whole face. Definitely that forehead. You have to blend that forehead out, baby. You have to blend it out. Cause that forehead, you 
out here looking crazy if you don't do it anyway. Look at that, it look better already. It look like skin, y'all. It looks like skin. I'm so cute. Focus on me now. So we all the way blended out. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my foundation. And what I'm gonna set my foundation with the Max Studio Fix Powder in shade NW45. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm everywhere I put foundation, I'm gonna just put the powder. And this is how and this is when I put powder on my eyelids. Like that. I don't put liquid foundation on there. Don't ask me why you want. I just don't. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. Just put it everywhere. I'm such a princess. Like. Y'all, I'm such a girly girl. I love makeup. I love doing my makeup. I love, 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 love. So, now y'all, I know this is weird, but at this point in my makeup, once my foundation eyebrows is done, I love to put on my eyelashes right away. Don't ask me why. Just know I like to do it. As promised, we're going to be using Tinaco Cosmetics Signature Lashes. One out of two of them. Caught Stun Her. And watch the transformation. So we're gonna go from this. Watch the transformation. Cause do not play with my lash strips. They're literally a problem. Let me go get my tweezers. Okay, y'all. So literally, hold on. Move that. All right. So I like to take my both of them out. And y'all know we gotta cut them. Don't ever be scared to. Don't ever. Be scared to cut your lashes because they not gonna fit y'all. These be too long. Just a little piece, y'all. I know y'all don't wanna touch. Y'all don't even wanna touch y'all Tina Coke cosmetic lashes. But y'all gotta do it, y'all. I'm about to put my um don't talk about me, y'all. This is not hair glue. This is eyelash glue. And I love it. Judge me if you want to. This glue will never steer you wrong. So what I like to do is take the glue and run it around on the bottom of my tweezer. Run it across the lash line, baby. that makeup artists use wait for it to um comment down below if y'all know the word because i'm tripping right now i guess it's like gook up or something i can't remember okay y'all i'm gonna put my lashes on and i'm gonna come back on here so y'all see how this look right now right i'm gonna let y'all get a good look you see do y'all see these? Ah! They look like extensions. They look like my extensions before they fell out. Like, do y'all see these? Like, big change. So, just wait till the makeup is finished, honey. These are with, they really, really not this full. Like, if you think thinking like, ooh, those are too full. Not really, because I still have on a little bit of my extension, so that's why they look so full. But they're definitely very wispy. So, anyway, furthermore, let's get into it. We're gonna take that same Juvia's Place concealer, if we have some more, and we're gonna take it, and we're getting ready to highlight underneath our eyes. So I don't even need too much. Y'all, we clearly need to go to Ulta and buy some more. I can't wait until I no longer have to go to Ulta unless I'm shopping for Tina Coke cosmetics. 
So y'all, this one is gonna run out. So what I'm gonna do is use, is use my um, Tarte Shape Tape and it's in the color Deep. And I'm gonna just finish off where we left off. I like the Juvia's Place a little bit better because it's not as, um, it's not as thick, but y'all see it. I only put a little bit on my forehead, so now we're going to take our beauty blender and we're going to blend it in, y'all. Oh, my battery died, but real YouTubers have more than one battery. So anyway, we're going to finish where we left off. I'm going to blend it in. I like to blend it in order. Like, I don't like to go right here, then right here. I'll go left. I mean, right to left. Right to left. Okay. Then I'm going to go over here. Left to right. Left to right. really good I don't know why my camera's not focusing but y'all know what I'm doing I'm blending 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 perfect oh and then I'm gonna blend my nose I hate blending my nose y'all but I gotta do it ugh Wherever I see, I need to fix. I go and fix it. Now, I really, really hate harsh lines. You see this? This is a harsh line. You can tell where a person blended and where they stopped. That's a makeup no no. I ain't no makeup artist, but I know better than that. Who is I take, don't mind y'all, my brushes are very, very old. <sighs> it's lash glue on it, but it still works perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend in those harsh lines so you can't tell where I started blending and where I stopped blending. I'm gonna blend it all around the edges. All around the edges. Watch, you ain't gonna be able to see that line no more. All around the edges. Oh my god don't play with me i could be a makeup artist okay so now that i blended all around the edges now it's time for me to bake so what i use is my old faithful sasha buttercup setting powder i've been using this since i started doing my own makeup i used to didn't like it because i didn't know how to work it i used to think it left like too much flashback but nowadays when you know what you're doing what's the flashback so what i'm gonna do Wherever I put the concealer, I put setting powder. Now, I'm not that advanced yet where I be blending it in. Uh-uh, this gotta go. I know a lot of makeup artists, they don't bake. That's old school. They just blend it in. I kind of do both, but I don't let it bake that long at the end of the day i'm chocolate and i want to stay that way makeup or not you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i let it sit there for a little bit do y'all see these lashes like <laughs> i mean my cosmetics line is top tier okay it can do no wrong wait till y'all see the ending wait till y'all see this face topped with the second to none lip combo Oh, nothing. Just kissing Morphe and all that other stuff away. Tina Cole Cosmetics coming through. Remember I said that, y'all. So, I'm going to take this brush. I know what this brush is called. This is an expensive brush. This is um, the Japoneske. Y'all, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Even when I bought the brush, I could not pronounce it right. But, anyways, I'm going to do a sweep. So, you ready? I'm going to sweep it all. Sweep it off. You know what I'm saying? Sweep it all off. Sweep, sweep, and sweep. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's 
it's a look, y'all. It's a look. It's definitely a look. Oh, I'm that excited. We good. Okay, so now that we set our face, I mean, we baked our face. Now it's time for contour. So y'all, I used the cream contour, but I've elevated. So now I only bronze. I bronze with the new Juvia's face. Y'all, I love this palette. Like, I feel so bad when Tina Gold Cosmetics comes out with their own bronzing palette, cause I'm gonna have to throw it in the garbage. But until then, we, we good. So I used the Juvia's Place Bronzer Palette in Deep Dark, cause we chocolate. So my face might seem a little light right now, but the contour definitely brings it back together. Wow. So I take, what brush do I take? Uh -huh, where's, oh here it is. I take this very expensive brush. It's the Face Sculpt and Shade Brush by Huda Beauty. And I take it and I dab, 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 and I dab, dab, dab. But always the dab, 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 because this be getting dark. So I take it and I contour right here, contour right here, contour around my face because we want to bring the face back in. At the end of your makeup, um, when you're done doing your makeup, literally your face should come back together. You should not look like a light bulb. This is what's going to help. Watch. Because, you know, I start to be thinking, like, do I look cute? Like, when I don't. You see how the highlight in the middle, you can tell it's a highlight because you're bringing your face back in with your bronzer. I ain't told y'all nothing. Don't ever say I ain't teach y'all nothing. And y'all know I'm dramatic. I like my face to be. Because it's really fat, but I like it to be. So, going back in. <laughs> and y'all, I am not a makeup artist, but I am a cosmetics kind of sore. I have my own cosmetics line, and I know how to do my own makeup. I never want to be a makeup artist. It's too many shades. And I know how I am with makeup. I cannot do it. Well, furthermore. So then I go back in with my Sasha Buttercup and I take my beauty blender and I highlight underneath and it's gonna bring my face in. Just watch. If I could do it. You can do it, sis. The best part about this, too, if you feel like you did too much contour, you can fix it. So, I let that see. So, while I let that see, now it's time for the eyeliner. I hate when makeup artists do my makeup and don't put eyeliner at the bottom. That's disrespectful and I would not tolerate it. So we're gonna just get out the way while we let this sit because my face needs to be, okay? So next I'm gonna use this random eyeliner called Rich Black from Princessa brand. And we're gonna underlie underneath my um eye at the bottom. I think they call it a waterline. Yeah, actually, I need two hands for this. So, I'm gonna be looking down. Eyeliner at the bottom, y'all see a difference. Eyeliner at the bottom makes a difference. 
and I will not tolerate being disrespected. Okay, y'all. So I get to cry. I will have time to mix up our makeup. So we're gonna catch it. We're gonna catch it, y'all, before it get crazy. So next, it's time to sweep it up. Oh, what? Yes, Nasa. It's a look. Now, we're going to put bottle mascara on there. And I use the L'Oreal Random Mascara. I got like three different mascaras. Oh, I'm starting not to like my mascara because um lately my mascara later on in the day it starts to um melt or do crazy stuff and it be all the way down here like and i don't even be crying y'all so i don't be understand why i'm doing it but i'm just gonna take it mascara and do like one lash at a time that's how you get a good mascara look y'all like you always want to take it like this up for it. But I really do like to take one lash at a time and put that mascara on there. Like seriously. Okay. Is that a shadow or do I make a really look like that? Oh, I got the mascara on there. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna give myself a little bit of blush. I don't like blush, but for some time, for some looks, I like it. I only like peach blush, and I use the darker side. This is a peach blush from Sephora called Peach Blossom. So I take my blush brush by um, Real Techniques in 201, and I try to dab it right on that side because literally I want all that. And I just smile. Try to put it right there. Not too much because I do not like looking like a um, cabbage patch kid. That's what blush gives me, cabbage patch kid. <sighs> okay, so last but not least, I like to put a little bit of Fenty Beauty highlights i've been using this for the longest she snapped but you already know what i'm about to say <laughs> not for long baby so i'm gonna take my real technique brush in 402 and i'm gonna just dab it on both of them okay i did too much dab it on both of them i like that and I love to put it on my nose. Oh, so pretty. And I take it and I put it like that. I take my beauty blender and I just dab it. Cause like if you don't dab your highlighter in, y'all, it's gonna highlight regardless. But if you don't dab it in, you will look like Rudolph. Like seriously. And I just put a little up here to get there. Okay. Last but not least, we're gonna spray this. I'm gonna spray using the Milk Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray Grip Spray Fixing Setting Spray. Okay. Um, this is cool. Uh, I like the um the Morphe spray better, but I was just trying something different and I found this. So anyway, here we go. Ooh. Y'all don't mind my hair. My hair is the best. It's, it's literally all day. But look at that face. Y'all, this is my go-to face. Like, this is what I usually always do to my makeup when I go anywhere. And I just do a fire lip combo, a fire lash. If I don't have eyelash extensions, 
And I be sad, y'all. I don't really do too much to my face. Um, my lashes is mine. Like, literally. Imagine how these look without a lash under them. Like, without a, um, without a, uh, eyelash extension under them. They be, they don't even need the eyelashes. A lot of lashes, you be needing the help of eyelash extension under them. These, they don't need no help. At Tito Go Cosmetics, we don't need no help. Anyway, so, y'all, now, y'all know what time it is. So, like I said, I usually always, almost always use Coco Nicole Signature Lip Liner by Tito Go Cosmetics, but I lost mine, and unfortunately, we're waiting on our restock day. I'm waiting just like everybody else. So, I have to use an old faithful. This is a lip liner that I'm no longer a fan of since I came out with my own lip liner, but it's going to do the job today. Um, it's called Bite. And it's in shade Power Move. No, Midnight Ride. It's cool. It's alright. <laughs> Just put it up. So, what I'm going to do. So, now we in lip combo mode. Y'all know I don't play about my lip compos. So, I'm going to be very detailed. So, when you outline your lip, you'll be using Coco Nicole Signature Lip Liner by Tina Cola Cosmetics. But, when you outline... Ladies, I don't care what kind of lips you have. It is almost certain that you outline your lips and you over outline them just a little bit. Unless you got your lips done and they already like super duper plump. I got a full lip and I still over outline. So I usually over outline and I make my own cupid's bow. And I over outline a little bit on the bottom lip. So here's how it's done. I'm going to try to get as close as possible, y'all. I don't know how close I'm going to get though. So... Um, I start at the top and make my way down. And y'all, this is very pigmented and dark, which I'm not like a huge fan of. So I'm trying to work with it. But as y'all can see, I have, uh, look at that. You could tell this side is over outlined because my lips start right here. So I did it to that side. I don't know why this isn't focusing. to the other side y'all see like it's already giving brats lips but uh, y'all know i love me a good brats pouty lip so i'm gonna do what it takes to make my lips look like the brats period so the bottom i'm gonna over outline it as well look at that y'all my god the lip is gonna make the look i cannot believe this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna blot it just a little bit so it brings the color just a little bit further down y'all get what i'm saying so y'all see the difference literally perfect oh my god so when i use my coco nicole liner i usually pull it down a little bit with the liner but we don't have that we're using this creamy little stick so i'm not gonna put too much down here because it's gonna overpower the lip combo and that's not what it is so now that we've got it first we're gonna start with the amazing sold out most popular gloss on tina Co cosmetics market called undressed and it's literally a liquid matte lipstick meaning it comes on as liquid and when it dries it's matte and it's so y'all look at this but look at this it's so creamy y'all you only need to dab it once sometimes i'll be having to go like this oh my god because it's so creamy it's like it's the product for me so anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take underdressed matte liquid lipstick and we're gonna fill it in in the middle. And you don't need too much. With Tina Cosmetics, the quality is amazing, baby. You don't need a lot. 
So what you're gonna do is take it and put it in the middle. And you're gonna... Oh my God. <laughs> what? My product gets me every time, y'all. Like... I just wanna let y'all know, this was my favorite lip out of the bunch from the Gigo, but it's end up being everybody else's too, that's crazy. So anyway, I only put on my bottom lip and I, oh my God, y'all. I love this lip. Look at it. Oh my God, y'all see how it dried matte? It's dry mat, y'all. Oh my god. Y'all, I don't even want to touch it no more. But a lip combo is a lip combo. So, undressed. And y'all, Coco and Nicole do way more numbers. I'm telling y'all. So now we take our new pink gloss by Tinico Cosmetics called Off Limits. Because she off limits. I'm just playing. And this is also our high shine glosses are in the square tubes and then our matte liquid lipsticks are in the round circular tubes guys so look at this look how creamy that is like you cannot go wrong with this look at this y'all oh my god like whoo a product so what i do is i take off limits and i add some gloss to my lips so watch watch the transformation y'all this it's a, it's not a sold out lip combo for no reason. So wait for it. Oh my god, y'all! Look at that! Look at that! And what you gonna do? You gonna blot it? Oh my god, y'all! A combo, a lip combo, a lip combo. I'm shook. I'm so shook, y'all. This is so pretty. So, lastly, to top it off, I always want to use Tinico Cosmetics Glacier Girl High Shine Gloss. It just gives you that. Mm. And as you can tell, I already, you know, it's not glacier anymore because I top it with every single lip I have. I don't care if it's already a gloss. I don't care if it's nudity. I don't care if it's new for you. I don't care if it's stripped. I don't care if it's birthday suit. I always top it off with glacier, girl. Watch it. Oh, it's so creamy. I top it off for that gloss glacier look. lip combo second to none because she's second to none like i can't believe how fire this lip combo look so oh my god i'm gonna put the link below i'm gonna put my instagram below i'm putting everything below because if y'all miss this next launch y'all gonna hate it because y'all gonna have to wait to the next restock and y'all gonna have to see me and all my homegirls wearing this lip combo it's been sold out for a month now i just cannot get over this this is so pretty y'all like i gotta take my lemon nails on okay y'all so this is the completed look using Tinico Cosmetics signature eyelashes in Tinico Cosmetics lip combo for second to none. This combo, y'all, 
this combo sold out first day like i mentioned not to toot my own horn but i see why this lip combo is everything y'all um this is my everyday makeup tutorial i don't wear makeup every day but the, when i do wear makeup this is what i do this is all i do this is how i complete this look so when you're pretty in real life like all of my subscribers watching you know we don't even gotta do too much like seriously just a you know thin coke cosmetics lip combo and a <laughs> signature lash and we out the door so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you loved it, you liked it, you give it a thumbs up. Make sure if you're not subscribed that you are subscribed. Subscribe right now. And tell me how you like this video. Give me different ideas. Um, if it's any lip combos that you would like to see me do a full blown makeup tutorial on, let me know. Give me different ideas of what y'all want to see inside Tico Cosmetics. Um, it was another thing. I'm going to do another look with another lip combo. But let me know another one that y'all would like to see before restock. Because you need to know what you want to buy before you buy it. Because once it's in stock and then everybody snatch it up, it won't be in stock to next restock. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just let me know how y'all like this video. I hope y'all liked my face. This is my, you know, go-to makeup tutorial um y'all i'm admiring myself like <laughs> but anyway yeah make sure you like comment subscribe y'all thank you for coming inside tina co cosmetics with me there's so much more coming make sure you stay up to date on our next launch and make sure you follow tina cosmetics on instagram and shop tina co cosmetics period because we have a lot coming up literally Last but not least, people that stay to the end, make sure you keep on watching because I got a little secret at the end. Our first official, real, you know, face on, face on video. Just keep on watching for the little secret and a little surprise I got for y'all. And for those that end up watching the whole video and seeing me i want to thank you so much in advance for supporting me thank you for watching my whole video i love you all and i'll see you all on the next episode of inside tina go cosmetics love you all